Hey everyone, my name is Falak. And I'm Mehdi. And my name is Lee. And we're your first year ambassador leads for the first year engineering office. So today we're going to be doing a campus tour and a city vlog. And we're going to show you the most interesting spots that you can find on campus and in the whole city of Toronto. So come with us as we explore more about your city and your campus. Here we are, first starting off at TMU's Student Learning Center, or SLC. It's become our campus's central hub by giving students an open commons to study and collaborate on projects. There are also so many events in the atrium that students can take part in during the year. Okay, so right now we're just walking through Young Dender Square, which is one of Toronto's major intersections. It's a very busy area with so many stores and food places for you to try. And even sometimes you can see some talented street performers performing over here. Young Dender Square is also part of the TMU campus, especially the Cineplex, where you might get to have some of your lectures in the theaters. Dundas TTC subway station and as you can see the entrance is right over here. This is one of the four entrances or exits that we have here in Toronto. So this is the one right inside Cineplex and um, this goes northbound. To use the TTC we can either buy a ticket or we have to buy a presto card that you can see right over here and uh, it is rather for two hours until you pay the next fare. And here we just filmed the time lapse of us walking over to the northbound entrance for Dunder Station through the Eaton Centre. Hey guys, so right now we're at Best Buy. Over here you can buy your favorite electronics, your Apple Watches, Apple Air Force, whatever you want. Uh, sometimes we even have some good deals over here. So yeah, and uh, we have a lot of um, Best Buy stores all around Toronto, but uh, this one's the closest one to campus. So if you ever want to buy electronics, like a laptop or something, you can always come here. There's also a Canadian Tire right beside it, which is where you can get everything from sports equipment to kitchen supplies to home decor. So what, what's your guys' favorite food spot in Toronto? Honestly, I just love Chinatown because you have really good, uh, really good Chinese food. You also actually have a lot of uh, Asian food over there. Um, and uh, the best part is all cheap. Yeah. How about you, Pella? If you guys want Daisy food, aka Indian or uh, Indian food, go to Gerard Street. If you ever crave a MOBA or you've never tried it before, you should definitely get some MOBA. So many places, I don't have to give you a location because if you just walk outside, you'll definitely see one. Heading over west from campus is the AGO, or Art Gallery of Ontario. It has all kinds of different art with different mediums for you to see. A fun fact about the AGO is that it's completely free if you're under 25 years old. The exhibits are constantly changing, so there's always something new for you to see. Chinatown is a quick stroll away from the AGO and is filled with tons of culture. If you're ever passing by, you should always stop for a quick bite to eat because there are so many different restaurants to try with so many different options. If thrift stores, new food, and street performers are your thing, Kensington Market is for you. Located right beside Chinatown, you're always guaranteed to find a new outfit or grab a quick snack at one of the many food shops. So now we're heading over to the iconic Graffiti Alley, which is a short 10 minute walk from Kensington Market and is filled with tons of vibrant and beautiful murals. The alley is a staple place for taking some Instagram worthy pictures and if you're someone who loves street art, it's always worth checking out.
Chicago City Hall is also another great spot close to campus to check out when you have some free time to kill. There's always events, festivals, or performances happening in the square. And in the winter, the pond in Nathan Phillips Square freezes over to become an ice rink to skate on. No need to buy your own skates, there are always rentals available. Don't forget to take a picture beside the iconic Toronto sign. For those of you who live outside of Toronto and in the GTA, Union Station is your hub for travelling in and across the city, where you have access to the subway, GO train and UP Express. Union Station is huge and you're bound to get lost in it the first time you're here, but you'll get the hang of it really fast. You can also access Scotiabank Arena through Union Station, which is where hockey games and concerts are always taking place. Ripley's Aquarium is another staple visit in Toronto. They have so many sea creatures, from turtles to penguins to sharks to jellyfish, with so many exhibits in the aquarium for you to explore. If you ever need a break from school, take some time to immerse yourself in the underwater world. The Rogers Centre and CN Tower are directly beside Ripley's Aquarium and are the most defining structures of our city skyline. There's always a major artist or band performing in the stadium for you to watch, or in the summer, you can catch a cheap baseball game. Walking south from Rogers Centre will take you right to our harbourfront. The lake has activities like canoeing or kayaking, or you can unwind yourself by taking a stroll along the water or relaxing on Sugar Beach. Thank you so much for joining us on our tour today and we hope you feel less nervous about navigating campus and the city. If you have any questions or concerns, feel free to come to the first year engineering office in the engineering building. Don't forget to follow us on social media, on our Instagram, Twitter and Facebook page. And we hope to see you all soon at our orientation events. Bye! Bye! Take care!